good, y'all? It's the Mega Manager here checking in, man. And today I'm going to tell you guys what I personally believe to be the best body part split possible for those sweet gains. All right, so uh, not going to be what you think. It's probably not what you do right now. But I promise you, if you start doing it and you do this right, you're going to get stronger faster than ever. You're going to be able to recover faster than ever. And you're going to build muscle faster than ever. All right, so full body training. I've been doing it for about half a year. And if I'm being 100% honest, my strength gains are a lot faster. My muscle gains are a lot faster. My fat, my for cuts, I burn fat a lot faster. Um, I recover a lot faster. The list goes on with like the benefits of like the full body training. So I'll just break it down really quick, like uh, you know what exactly the benefits are and why I believe it's the best body part split, which I kind of already, I might have convinced some of y'all already. So uh, pretty much the benefits of full body training is that you're training essentially every single muscle group every single day in some type of way. Um, this could be directly with an exercise or indirectly. I'll kind of get into that a little bit. So uh, me personally, uh, usually five to six days a week. Typically six, depending on what program I'm running at the moment, I might do five and then take two days off because it's like really, really intense. So uh, you have increased frequency. With increased frequency, you are going to, in theory, and I think in practice, um, elicit more muscle growth, all right? So this is what happens. I'm gonna break down how muscle builds, all right? So usually, you know how they say like rest like 72 hours between workouts or whatever for a muscle group? So it's because muscle, that's how long it takes, you know, to fully like recover, quote, quote. So when you train a muscle, you spark muscle protein synthesis, AKA you start building muscle right at that moment after you're done training or whatever. So that usually lasts up to, you know, a couple of days or so. Uh, and think of it like this. I learned this from Dr. Jim Stepani. So let's say like the first day, like right after, like after you train or whatever, muscle protein synthesis is at 100%, then the next day, 75%, the next day, 50%, and then the next day, 25%. Think of it that way. It decreases as time goes on, all right? And eventually, it goes back to baseline. So as the days go on, you're building less and less muscle, you know? So how about you train a muscle today, and then you train it tomorrow, and instead of the muscle protein synthesis dropping, that shit's going to go back up. Okay, so you're keeping it elevated, you know, around 100%. So you're building, uh, you know, a little bit more muscle each and every single day. All right. And you can't just go into the gym and just annihilate your muscle every single time. No, you have to drop your ego, drop your pride, trust in the process. Uh, and do typically, depending on how many days you're doing, I do about one exercise per muscle group per day. Okay. So like I said, increased frequency, increased growth. And it's the little things over time. I've always said this on my channel, man. The little things over time add the fuck up. I'm telling you, like, uh, that's why like, I take protein blends. That's why, you know, I have the supplements that I have. It's the little, little itty bitty advantages every single day that go a long way. All right? So, like I said, look, increased training frequency, more muscle growth. All right. And one other benefit, you're training every muscle in your body, literally, from, from neck to fucking calf. All right. So... You're training every muscle group, so your body turns into like, like a human furnace, okay? And it starts burning everything, all right? So hopefully you're getting your protein in, at least one gram per pound at least. So I say 1.5 grams per pound, but we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, so your body turns into a furnace, and it's going to be burning a lot more calories than usual because it's harder to recover with every single muscle in your body. So essentially, your metabolism is going to be a lot higher, so your, your fat burning is going to go up. That's another benefit of full body training. Uh, so if you're trying to burn body fat, it's gonna be perfect for you. And if you're trying to build muscle, it's perfect for you too. Make sure you get your protein in. Uh, the next benefit of full body training, you can recover easier. You're not going in and just annihilating it until you can't feel your shit, or you're going home, or you're limping out the gym, uh, you're going home, can't barely get in the shower, can't like wash yourself. That's sad, that's pitiful. And honestly, I heard somewhere, you know, and it really stuck with me when I heard this. Um, you don't want to like hinder your everyday um, activities and life and everything just because you're sore from training. You don't want to do that. So how about a training method that um, I believe and I've seen work um, a lot better than, you know, the more typical, you know, body parts splits. Um, when I try that out and do one exercise per day and be able to, you know, recover each day and not feel extremely sore the next day and I feel like crap. 
Now, I will tell you this. By the end of the week, that fatigue will add up. And you might be sore by day three or four. You will be sore. But it is a lot easier to recover on a day-to-day -day basis. And then all it takes is like one to two days off at the end of the week. And then you're good to go for the next week. All right. And uh, I've also found that with full body training, strength uh, actually goes up pretty quickly. That depends on what your programming is and if that's what you're going for. Like me right now, I'm focusing a lot on strength because I personally believe that, you know, in order to get, you know, as big as, as, big as I want to, I need to get as strong as possible. And I work that in with my hypertrophy stuff as well, which I'll explain in another video. All right. So those are like, you know, the benefits of like full body training. That's why I feel like full body training um, is uh, optimal and is better than other body parts splits. I will continue to do it long term. Uh, I will probably, you know, go back to like a twice a week split uh, for maybe one to two months at a time. Um, every once in a while, like maybe like a couple times a year. But other than that, year round, it's a lot easier for strength training too. Uh, doing full body training is good for making sure that I don't get too fat when I'm bulking. You know, it makes my cuts a lot easier because I'm burning more calories. You know, you don't have to do as much cardio. You don't have to cut your uh, food as much. Like it's just there's so many benefits of full body training. You're gonna hear that shit for a lot from me. You're gonna hear a lot of full body videos. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this full body training movement started because I think a lot of people are hopping on the train, but they also I don't know if they do it right or wrong. I've seen amazing gains since I started about half a year ago. Uh, my strength is shooting up. Uh, my body looks a lot better. You can go back and look at my old videos, even from like a few months ago. I look a lot better now. So you can just you can see the shit working. So I'm gonna continue to do it. I'm gonna keep you guys updated and keep you know teaching you all the little golden nuggets that I learned myself from the full body stuff. So <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that. I hope you like the video, man. Don't forget to like the video, man. Don't forget to share it. Try full body training. Hit that subscribe button. I'm a holler, man. Make a man job.